Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips. To learn more about landscape lighting, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you wanna see what a real quality landscape light should look like, go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's gonna look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. Hey guys, so on this project we're remounting a lot of lights up in the trees and kind of down lighting, getting those lights up nice and high, 20, 25 feet up there, shining through the branches so we can kind of create some shadowing down on the ground here. So the um, thing with that is the, the wire for the fixtures we have is only, um, it's only about 10 feet long, so I don't want to have a big waterproof connector hanging halfway down the trees. Uh, one thing you can do if that's something you have is just go buy a junction box at uh, you know the Home Depot store or Lowe's or whatever it is um, and just put that connection in one of those just so you don't have to look at it, at least it hides it. Another option that we often use is these, um, these shrink wrap connectors. Again, you can get them at any home improvement store. Um, what I like about them is they are gel filled here so once they get, sorry, be on me here. Um, but they are gel filled, so once they heat up, the gel actually seals around the connection, um, and they're very inconspicuous, so that's why I like using them. So um, we're gonna use them for this. So I've got my, my wire to my fixture, so I wanna make that a lot longer, and then I can make my connections down in the ground and stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, um, I've got my wires, I'm just gonna slide my tube on, because you need to get your tube on the wires first. Uh, so we got that on and one thing I do is I cut, if you can see here, I cut one of them a little bit shorter than the other and I'll show you why I do that. It's, it's basically so I can cheat and just use one of these as opposed to having to use two, um, which same as any of the connections, usually you have to make two for each fixture because you have two wires, but we're gonna cheat a little bit and I'll show you how. Um, so basically what I've done is with my wire that's going out into the ground and my fixture wire, I have one longer and one shorter. So I'm gonna take the longer one and I'm gonna connect it with the shorter one and I'm actually just gonna twist tie those up. Just twist them together uh, nice and good. And then I'm gonna just bend one of them so it kind of looks like this, right? I don't know if you can see that. So I've got it uh, like this and I've just got it bent and then I'm gonna twist the other two together. Um, and I'll show you in a second why I do that. And then we're gonna twist that. is so that I can go now and I can bend these like this and the connections aren't going to be touching each other. See how they're separated? So they're not going to be touching each other inside the same um, inside the same shrink wrap connector. They're both in there. They're not touching. Something else you can do just to make sure is sometimes I'll, um, I'll put some electrical tape just around those just to make sure those connections don't touch. Um, and then I'll go and I will shrink wrap that together. So how you do that is very simple. Is you just need a, a torch of some kind and then you just uh, lightly warm that up and you watch it shrink. You're going to be careful not to get too close and burn anything. Make sure all the wires are still inside. Um, it's pretty hot afterwards so give it a good little um, I just try and seal it up a bit, but you can see the ooze is kind of coming out a little bit, so it's all waterproofed in there. And once it solidifies, it's pretty hard, and you are not pulling those wires apart. So uh, if you're doing any tree lighting or need to uh, hide some wire and extend it and make a pretty inconspicuous connection, uh, shrink wrap connectors is a really good way to go. Hey guys, I'll go into a little bit more detail about these DVRY connectors in a bit, but basically I always get asked if if I need to tee into a line, so for example, I've got a line, I've got a line, I've got a line coming in, I've got a line going out, and then I've got another line uh, that has to go out here. How can I go about doing that? So that's where we're gonna use these DBRY connectors. The reason we use these is because they're bigger, so we can fit more wires in them. So we can fit our wire going out, we can fit our wire that just came in, and then we can send another wire out that way. My one tip that I'll want to point out is that I always try and do this somewhere where there's like a fixture or something. So that way, if there ever is a break or connection that I gotta go check, 
I know where it is. It's located at a fixture. It's somewhere where there's already a hole as opposed to just some random spot in the yard. So just a quick tip when you're teeing into the line, try and do it somewhere where you know you already have splice and you can easily access it later. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. And be sure if you want your own free consultation video, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.